What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. Well, that was quick. Alisa Deke responded real fast on his Instagram live to why Cat William really does not want to fight him in a celebrity boxing match. We're going to go ahead and check this out. But before we do that, please hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, apply pressure to that subscribe button. You, that's, what, that's what you believe, big homie? You believe it's about ticket sales? Yeah, it's always been about ticket sales and comedy. I'm sorry you caught me at a bad time, but since you asked me, I said I'd jump on because I'm still barely waking it, up. It, I'm not even camera ready. This ain't this ain't even about comedy. Yeah, it's about what, what happened is, is, but, is but, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a synopsis. Yeah, I gotta be it's fair. Dude, there, you know, to be it's fair. It's a dude named It's a dude named Dancing Dave. That that's yeah. in the, that was celebrity boxing. Dancing Dave didn't say he took a fight on two weeks notice against another celebrity boxer they paid dancing dave 150,000 they paid the other they paid the other one 250,000 it wasn't about no it wasn't about no tickets it's about the celebrities boxing you only doing um 3 minute 3 rounds 1 minute so the tickets are going to be sold anyway i'm not disagreeing with what you're saying when you make your point in that manner when i'm saying that i bring my own people i don't know why he was there i i paid him because he just showed up but i was there for two days i performed both days the first night i performed in front of ashima franklin the next night i performed after ashima franklin it was just that it's just that simple and i wish i was a sentimental nigga who would hold pictures and all that but all this can be confirmed with alex thomas and mostly everybody who was rational that was there. They're like, no, it's no way for this nigga not to say he don't know this nigga because he's been in a vehicle with this nigga voluntarily. I'm riding with Ali to the hotel. Right. And, and then the other part is this. How do you write a nigga a check that you don't know his name? That, 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 that ran, so in your, in your business of comedy, in your business of comedy, that you know comedy, so you have went to places and random comics just showed up and people paid them because they did, they showed up and they wanted to perform uh, he wanted to perform i felt bad he didn't get a chance to so i paid this nigga for two days well you know he's kind of, that's kind of how he is uh i knew you were gonna say well, it. hey man if you, you watch this watch this brother if you yeah. look up that if you look up his network you google that nigga's network and you google mine we we are we five hundred thousand dollars on our so why would no, this no, why would this nigga I, give me fifteen? Why would this nigga give me a random ass? He just walk up and get fifteen hundred dollars to for one performance. Damn! I didn't even I didn't cash the check. I didn't cash the right. check. I gave I gave the money back. I didn't cash. I put the nigga check up. I jumped in my fucking truck. And nobody in Houston is going the seventy thousand the seven thousand fuckers that was there. Nobody's gonna believe this shit. They gonna be like. Wait a minute. No, the, no, the, the, the what I was going to comment on when you said you know I was going to say that it's only because <laughs> that was my experience. Like one, like one time, right? I'm running a little room in LA at this club called the Family Room on Main nope. Street, right? Some ghetto right. ass, shit, right? I mean, I'm a, you know at that time I think I'm only like three or four years in, and it's like eight nine people used to show up to my show on Thursday nights, right? So Cat mm -hmm. shows up to my show, okay, pays the five dollar fee, him and the girl gang, right? Then he does forty five minutes, right? He calls me over, he goes, Wheezy, I'm next. I said, Okay. I put it on, he does forty five minutes and then pays every comic on the show for performing. All right, so because that's he came, what I mean. Because he, because he came in and bumped them. No, no, he didn't bump anybody. He did bump anybody if he if he show if he showed up. And he got he did forty five minutes. I know it's other comics waiting. I'd have been to LA before. I know it's always yeah, comics but waiting. What, what happened is at that time, since I was a new comic, I didn't really have people showing up my um, to my show, trying to get on. I've seen Cat come in, and I've seen him pay comedians. He's done that for me, and I've seen him give other comedians money. That's the only thing I'm saying because you know, man, I don't know what your experience was him with with you that you had. Obviously, you don't. Obviously, you don't yeah. know me. That's true. This, I this have is, no idea. This is, this is, you know what? I'm this is, glad that I got and this it, opportunity it is, to get to know you a little this, bit. And, this is, and you, you, you must be in L.A. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the thing. 
Yeah. One, bro, this is this is weird to me. And and I and I Yes. How long how long you been doing stand up? Uh 12 uh 13 years. That says uh, that bro that said and I'm and I'm talking and I'm being real, bro. And this ain't no arrogant shit. It's it's like I don't know nobody who you could find that does not know me. And you saying that you've been doing stand up for twi for 13 years and you don't know me? Yeah, but don't don't, don't take it as no, an insult. No, no, I'm, I, no. What, 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 no, what, what I'm I'm not taking this as an insult. Yes. I'm taking this as this. This is what I'm taking this this is what I'm taking this as. LA. That's all I'm taking it as LA. And I and I've always said this about LA. LA comics and comedy is in a bubble yes. that, that they have no idea what's really happening in that stand up. That is absolutely true. So I'm not 100%. I'm not I'm not I'm not taking it as his I'm just saying and it I can understand because you just said you was from LA. So it 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 nullifies and explains a lot to me. Yeah, because you're right about that. We actually are in a bubble. We believe that we're the best of anybody in the United States. We believe we're care we're comparable to New York City. We believe all these things. All right. That part is true. The only difference is is I don't really aspire to that anymore. Which once all right. this is what and, that, and I used to say this about LA comics. LA comics believe all what you said. Yes. With one successful comic from LA, DL Hewitt. got one successful comic from LA. Everybody else is in France, yes. but LA believe LA believes that wholeheartedly yes. with one championship. Things like yes. the Dallas Cowboys. Yes. <laughs> that's why that's why the, the that's why social media is so important to me because I can just look look, you know what I do? Anytime I meet uh, there's a comic that I don't know anything about that I hear their name First thing I do is look up their credit, and I'll be saying like, "I should know this person." <laughs> I remember when I walked in, I walked in the room, I walked in the room, and this dude said, hey, "I'm standing right next to him." He said, "Man, everybody's shaking your hand, man. Who are you?" Right. And and I said, "Man, I ain't nobody, man." Right. And then and then he turned around and said, "Hey, man, you from Houston, huh?" I said, "Yeah." I said, "Man, it's a dude out there, man, who did the best story." That I fucking heard. I don't know his name, but he got the story called Messing Got on Boots. I said, Oh, really? He he good? He said, Yeah, he he fucking damn good. You know what I'm saying? He asked me, did I know him? <laughs> I said, I said, yeah, I know him. I said, yeah, the asshole too. <laughs> I said, yeah, asshole too. He said, really? I said, I said, yeah. <laughs> and I walked off. I walked off. Walked off. Right. He is from Pittsburgh. He was from Pittsburgh, living in LA. Been living in LA about 10 years. And then I got on stage. Right. Very rare that I'm on stage in LA. I got on stage and 80 people hollered out, Mexican got on boots. And, this, <laughs> and, I was, and when I got on stage, I shook his hand. I said, hey, man, thank you for liking the story, sir. It was then, we talking about, bro, I have delivered, I have delivered so much great content that it's insane like it's insane and when i hear people I, when i hear comics i'm never i'm never about people not knowing who i am because it's millions of people that's true. But, absolutely but, right but when it comes to comedy yeah i'm a fucking juggernaut right and i won't lie ali made a lot of sense and i'm noticing ali's getting more support than a lot of other comics that Cat Williams got into it with or is getting into it with. I'll be interested to see on where this goes. I have a feeling that these two guys are gonna squash it. I think they are built more alike than the other people such as Steve Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer. Uh, no offense to them, but I think that these two guys are more built from the same cloth. So I personally hope that they squash it. Me, I started comedy in LA and I can say it is very true what they're saying about LA. Very, very true. Stuck in a box. 
That's why I ended up moving to New York. But anyways, check out these two videos, what Cat Williams said about Ali on Willie D's podcast. And also check out this documentary I made, pretty much talking about if Cat Williams is in real danger or not. But I'm gonna keep this video short. Moxie out.